Hi, today you are on site with me at the new construction project here in Marathon, Florida. We are here to give you an update on the progress of our home. Today we're going to talk about the tie beams. My name is Angela Palma with Location Real Estate. I am living, working, and building a home here in Marathon, Florida. If you have any questions regarding real estate or anything regarding the case, please feel free to reach out. Angela, that was an amazing um, introduction. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm trying to be a comedian, but not really. But anyways, today we're talking about the tie beam. The tie beam literally ties in the house. So Angie, here behind us, we have all this steel or rebar, as they call it in the construction industry, which what they're going to do is they put all this steel, which adds a continuum all around the house. They'll put in some boards here, frame it in. So now all this block is literally tied in together. So when, we, when, not if, when we get those hurricane force winds, which Irma was category five, five quite a bit five, we, not, we, don't, we won't have our house blown down. So it's pretty exciting to finally see this formation. This would be all poured concrete, holds the house together. And then on top of this is where we'll have the second floor. Now, I'm gonna show you one of our always oops, as every property has. Give us a second. Wait, honey. I do not like soffits. So we have to go to our wonderful engineer and our wonderful contractor to put a hole here. A hole. It's gonna be about 40 by 20 or something like that. That way we can run our air condition because our air conditioning unit is right behind this wall, which is a concrete wall concrete so therefore it's gonna run this way so we can air condition this room without a soffit we the soffits we're gonna lower the height of the roof so we're trying to avoid that so thank goodness to the wonderful minds put to putting together we're just gonna make a crooked high beam that way we can run in our ECs so small cut problem not like the stairs that was a big problem and I know other problems are gonna come up but Angela is going to take care of all the other big problems with greens and reds and yellows, which are probably colors she won't put in the house anyway. So thank you for following along. Thank you.